what we do with our excess peaches. We were fortunate enough to be able to get access to a bunch of peaches this year, and so we decided to dehydrate, freeze, and jam them. First, I start off by washing the peaches. I just put them through just a quick rinse. We pick them very cleanly from the tree, pretty much just getting off any, I don't know, insect waste or birds. Um, you can tell where the birds have eaten them and we tend to cut that off or I just scrape that off with my thumb. Once we're done washing them, I take the pit out. Now I went onto YouTube to find out how do we get pits out of peaches because these are considered cling peaches, which I'll go over in a few minutes here. But just to show you what I do, I take a pair of pliers and I pierce the peach and I try to get the pit out. And sometimes the pit doesn't come out. And if it doesn't, then I put it into the large green bowl. Otherwise, see how the pit comes out a little bit more cleanly on that one? I put it on the green tray. And anything that doesn't come out cleanly, you can see how the whole thing just kind of came out. I just put it right in the bowl. We'll use those for jamming because those I can take the skin off easily and uh, be able to take the mush the pit off, you know, between my hands or with a knife. I'm looking for only peaches right now that come out with a clean pit. The peach that you saw me put into the black bucket must have had some sort of mold or hair growth or some such thing like that, something that made it unsanitary, nothing that we actually wanted to um, eat or put part of our recipes, maybe too much bird damage for that second one that was put in there. So I just go along like this, and um, you see I'm starting to feel around the peaches, and I'm trying to feel as I get a feel for this process, feeling for ones that appear to be softer. Sometimes they're not soft, and the pit comes out fine, and sometimes they're really soft, and the pit doesn't come out fine. So I don't actually know if there's a thing to that or not. So there's bird damage that I just shoved off, and I just threw it right in the jamming bowl. But I'm just going through and feeling around and trying to find you know, something that's going to, and that one felt too hard, so I put it back. That one's got a lot of bird damage on it, but let's see what we can do. Nope, it's not going to come out easily, so I'm taking that off. This one really was eaten a lot, so now I'm going to use this as an opportunity to show you. This is what's considered a cling peach. I learned about this in the last week. So what happens is the pit itself is connected to the 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 pit itself is connected to the flesh of the fruit so here i'm going to show you a difference i also have a bunch of apricots right now that have come in and our apricots are um, freestone so that means the pit comes right off literally i opened up that apricot and the pit will fall out whereas these peaches are the pit is physically connected to the uh, meat these are yellow peaches we have other we have another peach tree in our yard that is a white peach, a Babcock peach, and with those, um, it's a freestone um, fruit, so the pit comes out very easily. So now that I've done that prep work, my husband's now taking the green tray. Yes, the person changed. Taking the green tray, and he's quartering the all of the peaches, and he's removing any of the icky parts that he doesn't like because he's preparing them to dehydrate. So in all cases, we do the first part, which is where we clean, and then we pit. And then from there, we can either dehydrate, freeze, or jam the peaches. Those are the three ways we use them. There's so many ways to use them, but for us, we found those to work the best for our throughput. So he's going through and he's quartering the peaches. And I do the same. Normally, when I freeze peaches, you'll see pictures of that later, I will take the skin off, but... I've decided this last round to just leave the skin on and that'll be fine. What we do with the frozen peaches is we take them and we put them into our um, oatmeal throughout the year. So that means we have fresh fruit for our um, morning oatmeal all year long. We have apricots and peaches that we enjoy. Everything's now quartered. He is now putting together a citric, a citric acid wash. So he's taking one teaspoon per one quart of um, water and he's going to mix it up and he's going to put the peaches in the black bin 
just like that. Just dump them in. These peaches are incredibly delicate. We barely touch them and they start falling apart. It's interesting. You wouldn't expect that out of a yellow peach, but that's been our experience. So he needed a little bit more um, solution. So he went ahead and created another solution. And I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up. Once the citric acid wash is in there, um, it sits there for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, um, we remove it. And that just keeps things from discoloring. It doesn't create any odd taste. It doesn't do anything. So it just sits there for 10 minutes. And then once he's done with that, he pulls out the uh, little strainer, um, a little strainer a scooper spoon. And he goes through and he moves the peaches from the citric acid wash or rinse um, to a larger strainer. And once he moves everything over, then he'll start putting them on the dehydrating trays. We use the Excalibur dehydrator. It was something that was given to me by my sister. It wasn't a dehydrator um, that I actually went out and studied and researched. She did all of that, and I trust her judgment. And it's a fantastic a dehydrator and it has super large volume. In this case, we were only able to do three trays um, for the um, for this amount of fruit. I don't know how many uh, peaches were on that tray. There were five across by maybe 10, so maybe 50, 60 peaches was about three trays worth. So what he does is he takes some of our old rag bag towels, he puts it on the island just to protect them, just an old roundy pan tray just to make transport easy. The dehydrator actually lives in the garage and we're doing this in our kitchen. And then what he does is he goes through and he apparently checked the camera so you'd have good view. Appreciate that, thank you. And he goes through and he is setting these up now. He does flush side up, skin side down, and we do leave the skins on it just makes it easier to dry. It makes it less juicy. Less juice falls to the bottom of the dehydrator when we leave the skin on. It gives, you know, a little coating for the bottom, if you will. And he just continues on like this. He looks like he's doing about eight across. And we'll see probably about six down. So 48 slices per, 48 quarters per. So that's about 12 quarters per, or 12 peaches per, tray but we'll see what it actually ends up being i thought i would speed this part up for you a bit just to show you he ends up going through three full trays and you'll see the process of that as we as you watch this again i tried to speed it up for you the way we use the dehydrated fruit is we put it into a ziploc bag so it can equalize moisture wise and then once it's done um, we put it into a, a you know, the, keep it in the same Ziploc bag and throw it into storage and on the storage shelf that we have. And throughout the year, we enjoy, you know, a nut mix with uh, fresh peaches. Now, bear in mind, we do not add sugar to these peaches. We just add the citric wash. So that means these are really healthy with no added sugar. It's just the regular, you know, peach sugar that we have. Then we put it into the dehydrator for about 24 hours. Again, we use these as part of our snack mixes throughout the year. Moving on to how we freeze our peaches, I go through and take the same quartered peaches, put them on trays, put them into the freezer as a single layer. Once they're frozen, then I put them into a bag. What you're seeing here on the left is a double layer. I can actually do double layers on my middle freezer drawer, so I tend to do that as often as I can. The last thing we do is make jam. Isn't that the most beautiful jam? We did this last week. Just absolutely gorgeous. We love to do these for gifts and just for our own enjoyment. So that's what we do with our excess peaches that we dehydrate, freeze, and jam.